Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Uh, so it's approaching 11.30 UK time. Um, and uh, OK, let's have a look at uh, the voucher code screen to start Hi off with actually, just for a moment. Banter Blitz. And uh, mute over okay, here. So you can use the voucher code Kings Crusher for a 15% off discount so you can get to play and challenge the likes of Magnus Carlsen the current world chess champion very strong grandmasters IMs etc so uh, yeah that voucher code whopping 15% off let's have a look now at the challenges today okay so uh, right the first challenge Julio uh, try and get the challenges in my challenge list is a bit short at the moment so do get them in uh, so I'll try an English opening. Okay, so this is a three minute game. Right, I'll try E4 here. Okay, so D4, maybe trying uh, for aggressive pawns with F4 and Knight F3 coming up. So if I play d5, and knights have three here. Okay, bishop e2 to unpin. I think a4 to prevent b5. And now a castle. So it look it's looking like a kind of King's Engine four pawns attack at the moment. That's just in time supporting the E four pawn. Maybe I can stretch out with G four G five. I've had this played against me uh once when I was playing black in the King's Engine. I had an uncomfortable game. I think I swindled it in the end, but um it was a pretty uncomfortable game. This space gain here with, with the bishop pair, I think it might be justifiable. Even though in general it's it's kind of controversial for weakening uh, some squares, but uh, I think here uh, I think the space gain is quite kind of interesting. Okay, so I'll drop the bishop back. Now, yeah, b5 is going to indirectly put pressure on my e4 though coming up. I might need to be ready. Uh, or here, just go to g3 straight off the bat. In advance of b4, I just want to go to g3 to support e4. I just don't want to lose e4 in particular. Okay, this gives me a semi open h file to play with. Uh, how would I use that here? There's another aspect. Well, maybe g6 is going to be played. Can I play for bishop d4? Knight c5. Uh, maybe I should take that off for e5. In fact, if it goes to d3, that looks unpleasant to say the least. So I think I will snap that knight off on knight c5. Okay, so bishop d4 in the meantime. So I might have an idea now of this h file attack. I think it might be worth reinforcing the e4 square a bit with rook a e1. Okay, here I I've decided I I want to do this. Um so now potentially I think d6 or bishop e4 looks good. Bishop e4 in particular looks pretty dangerous. All right, that looks a little bit on the desperate side to play that. There is rook g5, but there's rook f8 here coming up. So queen takes, queen takes, rook f8. I still think here I can I can win the queen. And then queen g4. Okay, I can take that. 
Yeah. All right, thanks for the game, Julia. Uh, you, you'll be able to get a rematch <laughs> today if you just hang around <laughs> for a bit. Uh, so, Kasparov fan. Um, let's play uh, Knight F3, the classic Knight F3, I think, today. Uh, so bishop e2 maybe and g4. Would he play d5 immediately? I'm going to find out. I'm trying to track him if he doesn't play d5. Well, maybe I've got that under control for a moment, d5. So this is a ready-made aggressive possession. Uh, so queen d2 and castle queenside, I think. This d5 hole, so I'm trying to play on the d5 hole. Boslavsky hole, I think it's been called. Uh, well, after Boslavsky, <laughs> funny enough, uh, I think he did research into the structures with a, a weakened uh, d5 square. Okay, so that was an interesting pawn sacrifice from my opponent. Now, this, um, I could. I like to ignore that. There is Queen G7 there. Maybe to add spice to Queen G7, uh, Bishop C4. Uh, because I'm just wondering, you know, Bishop F6 would be protecting the rook. If I have Bishop C4 in first, hmm, or even Bishop H5, G6. It's interesting. Bishop C4. Hmm, yeah. It's sort of pinned to g7. I'm thinking, um, you, you know, queen g7 if, if fg. Without bishop f6 now, um, because of queen f7 checkmate. I was trying to discourage bishop f6 there with this move. So if, I think I want to castle queenside here. Uh, so if I castle queenside, or play bishop d5 first, okay, and cement that bishop there. And castle queen side. Okay, so maybe I want to keep the queens on here. Or do I just take off? Maybe just just take off, take it easy. It's I think I'm a pawn up anyway. So maybe this is this is a reasonable way of playing it. B four could be a nuisance. Um, Knight a4 might not be ideal. Knight a4, knight a4 is not forced. Uh, so maybe, you know, b4, knight e2 to d4. Let's do this as though there might be some issue on the g file. In fact, it looks as though maybe a bishop retreat for knight d5 would be more ideal for that knight. Okay, that's been dissuaded here. Um. Let's see, knight e2 to d4. For the moment, I, I'm thinking I've put a strong glove against this dark square bishop in particular, restricting the dark square bishop in particular. Hmm. Um, but, yeah, you know, this looks aggressive. Do I need to do something about these pawns? Rook g3, a3, try and undermine them, try and fix them, fix, try and weaken them. Rook g3, a3, for example, a, b, rook b4, rook a3. It's adequately protected a4 at the moment. Uh, is there another way? I think rook g3 generally is is looking handy, so I'll play it anyway. But maybe rook c1, c3 is the way to do it. c3 here. Try and use this c file, quick doubling of the rooks on the c file. I think it's weakening the pawns, but as I say, a4 is adequately uh, defended at the moment. It's a nuisance rook b4. I think I'll have to play a3. I don't want it on the knight. So I can potentially, I believe, just double here, uh, try and infiltrate via c7 if there isn't rook c8. But there is rook c8. Okay. Exchange of one pair of rooks.
okay so I'm comfortable with the extra pawn as I say though a4 is pretty solid the bishop still kept out of the game at the moment uh, but he's trying to liberate it there's a cost to that I think okay it creates an outside pass pawn and potential counterplay though if I do g takes on knight f5 there's bishop f6 and that dark square bishop is a bit of a pain hmm. maybe I need to consider something else maybe g6 I'll, I'll go with g6 yeah there is bishop f6 no, it's not that easy Rook d3 yes I'm getting a bit scared now <laughs> of counterplay um, you know there's things like bishop f5 under in, in a good day or bishop b5 at the moment the knight's um, keeping out I mean b5 anyway keeping out b5 but how on earth uh, to play this now okay knight takes there's a rook b2 coming up uh, there might be possible to play um, b3 okay it's not ideal but b3 or b4 maybe b4 exchange of rooks is it tricky to win, to win this he's got an outside pass pawn now I've got an outside pass pawn as well like it's it's an interesting opposite color bishop position if my king goes to d5 there's pressure on d6 would he be overwhelmed would he allow I mean I he could have stopped my king going there with king c5 that might be a mistake okay so it's possible to play bishop h3 or a4 I think going to f7 encourages bishop f6 um, and what if I played e5 here just to make sure my king f7 oh hang on he can take a3 but he loses g7 if he takes a3 Can I win with just the G pawn and the E pawn? This is getting tricky. I think I have to try and win this bishop with E7. I might be just in time here for E7. Bishop F6, E7. Yeah. Okay, just only just it's nearly drawing opposite color bishops like that. Thanks. Okay, ah, uh, Mikhail. Okay, that was uh, close, very close in the end. Um, I think keeping the king out was interesting as a possibility uh, to improve on the play there. Okay, so. Uh, Remember, all challenges welcome today. Okay, so MGTOW, uh oh, my form pawn mug here. <clears throat> so it's classic London system torture time. <laughs> okay, this is this is um, a a thing which might be handy or might not to do so uh, rook a e8 I mean uh, maybe queen b8 a8 and hope for the best so rook a e8 e5 okay queen b8 ah oh, all right all right now there's a there's an issue of dc all the time isn't there i can't do d takes 
All right, let's get on to this hyper modern trendy diagonal here with Queen A8. I just like the aesthetics of it anyway, even if it doesn't do anything. Uh, the aesthetics of the battery, it might actually do something. Um, never know. Uh, so C4 or CD here? I think CD keeps things more open, just in case. I do have the possibility of E5. I'll play that. So how to build up here. That's a tricky one. I wonder G5 immediately is radical, isn't it? Uh, sort of weakening my king. I'm borrowing from my king safety. I might want to do something about this bishop d6 stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure really. G5, is that crazy? This this diagonal's compromised. Oh, let's do it. I've got the battery ready, targeting on G two. When I played the London system with White in uh, over the board games, there was this guy. This one game which was pretty unpleasant for G two. So I'm trying to underline this G two unpleasantness here with this move. Uh, when they did this battery, I, you know, it was a really tough game. Um, I think the G two issue. I'm trying to underline now. Anytime I play e4, there's always bishop d6, potentially, after knight e1. And that would be quite snug for white. Okay, so... If I play h5... Okay, this is a bit caveman-y meets hypermodern. <clears throat> hypermodern man and caveman come together here. For some weird concoction, um, so Bishop G two coming up. My knight is a liability on D seven potentially. Is um, I don't know if Rook E seven is going to be needed. Ah. Oh, well, that's a bit of a positional concession, surely. So, on this G five is is falling off, and this maybe Bishop H six. Okay, I have to support this G five pawn now, but he's blocked in that bishop. Is there? I don't know if there's. An idea rook rook e seven might actually be uh useful. This pawn yeah, it's a pain keeping out my knight. Oh, why don't I just take on F three? Oh <laughs> <laughs> Weakness of the last move. Why, why, I play this to that. Okay, that's very logical, isn't it? I'm not looking at the logic of the moves, really. There's a weakness of the last move. <laughs> Great. Okay, I let off. I let off. <clears throat> I'm so generous. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I've cemented the bishop now, keeping it positional, cementing the bishop on h2. So it's like winning a piece, having that bishop on h2 at the moment, in any case. But it's it's a solid kind of thing. Unless I can use this h file. Can I use this h file, king g7, rook h8? And then there will be rook e8, rook h2, 
king h2, rook h8, rook h1. So maybe it's not all that bad. Yeah, king g7, rook h8 looks very dangerous here. Yeah, king g7, rook h8, rook e8. I'll be threatening rook h2, king h2, rook h8, king g1, rook h1, checkmate. It's difficult here, I think, for white. This bishop is miserable right now. Yeah, I, I don't think there's too much potential here to the fans. Ah, okay. Well, now I, I can take here. The knight's hanging there. I did okay the last half wasn't too severe for my position thanks um, okay bring on the challenges nice or rematches if you want today <clears throat> so English opening uh, g3 and bishop g2 I can, I think, encourage uh, some committal pawn moves. I'll take centre pawn here. And uh, take another one. So, uh, I'll reinforce that knight. But, I mean, it's um you know a bit of bit of play for black here maybe uh, I'll go for f6 i think So that looks dangerous for Queen D two here. And Queen H six. If King H eight, Queen H six, Rook G eight. But here, you know, Rook F five and Queen G five. Okay, so that's too dangerous, I think. Queen g5 coming up, queen h6. So I think queen h6 in this position looks pretty dangerous. That form pawn. Okay, thanks for the game. Talk with me too. Talk with these. Okay, uh, bring on the rematches if you want. <laughs> My challenge this isn't brilliant today, um, so isn't oversubscribed. So rematch is welcome. I'll just uh, take, make that clear. Um, okay. So more London system. Okay, I'll, I'll try this um, setup again. Against oh, it's a London system with C four. So A six C five. 
coming up. Mm. On A6 and C5, or C5 straight off the bat here, just to stop potentially C5 from white. Knight E8, C7. C7 and 95. <clears throat> so 95 coming up. If um, knight takes, pawn takes, maybe I can use that d6 square. Uh, is it possible? I can put a knight to d6 uh, after. So knight e8 to d6 after. Okay. There is the move e6 here. I'll play that. It's possible that there's a sacrifice coming which is the point here I imagine um, I, c I don't have to take both pieces though I mean I'll just take one of them and then Queen h4 try and get a counter attack okay so Queen h4 here Trying for a counter attack. Well, there's rook f3 here. For that queen h2. Okay. Um, it's not not too many challenges at the moment. Could do a post mortem on this. Any re is welcome. Um, Okay, I could do a quick. I'm waiting for a challenge of post mortem here. Um, so, London system with C4, uh, and um, yeah, it's about equal. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty direct attacking play. Um, yeah, so oh, HG was mentioned. All right, maybe I could have just taken that. All right, maybe it's possible to take that other bishop. Um, it was possible, it seems, to take this bishop. The bishop's not letting the mate happen too easily. Um, okay, so, yeah, okay. Okay. All right, excellent. Uh, Kasparov fan. Um, Okay. I think um I'll play for uh just just this actually, just this. Yeah. And uh H file attack, H five, H four. Or Queen E seven here. H5, H4. Um, so H4 coming up, and then maybe Knight G4. Is this dangerous? Knight H2, HG. This looks a little bit on the dangerous side to play Knight G4, Knight H2. Knight h2 because then hg check and the queen coming to h4. Okay, so 
9th H2 looks like a clear immediate threat here. If H3, HG, I think, and that looks dangerous for E3. That's um, intriguing. Um, it's tempting to play knight e3 here. Um, would that be going crazy? <laughs> uh, I, maybe I don't need to, uh, in particular, play that. Um, Okay, I, for the moment, I'll just guard f5. It might not be necessary. It might give white too much play to play that. Instead, uh, I could bring some more resources here with knight f7, bishop d7, console queenside. Okay. Uh, bishop d7, castle and queen side, or uh, maybe g5, f4. Any c5, there's bishop b5, that's handy. Is castling queen side too risky? Let's see what happens on scary looking g5. Maybe g4 is, is a little bit dangerous before even committing my king to anything. Okay. f4 looks interesting on bishop h3. H2 here. Okay, I might have blocked in my own attack. Although, I think there should be five here. Mind you, there was knight f5. My f5 is very loose as well, I've just noticed. So this isn't very clear now at all. No, I think I'm losing the plot here. There's knight f5. I blocked in my own attack. I'm misplaying this. Is it possible queen g5 or maybe just bishop d7 here in the circumstance? Mm. <sighs> queen side swamping is very dangerous strategically. It's well, ni very nicely played by my opponent. Queen g5, is this plausible? I'm going to lose d6. I'm hitting f3 though, so maybe, maybe this is plausible. Um, possibly I need king e7 here. Not ideal. Okay, my king's in the center there. It's not ideal. I 
That loses an exchange. Ouch. Knight h3, is that handy? Ah, oh, it's all getting to be a mess. It's a whole mess. Oh, I don't like it at all now. My position. Yep, I'm getting blasted. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Six is uh, I'll just take that. King E6. Maybe some cheapos here with uh, Rook G1 coming up. Well, this is giving me bishop c6 on the plate. The terrible weakness of the last move. It was a winning position for white. That was a completely winning position, I think. Yeah, I, I lost the plot here totally. In the in this game, I, I lost the plot. Uh, no, that was definitely uh, me losing the plot. <laughs> um, uh, uh, just went downhill at some point here um, with too many weaknesses, uh, blocking in my own attack. Uh, this loses a lot of the advantage technically, h2. Um, may, I think I was a bit scared of casting queenside, but um, it's probably the thing to do here, to do this. And... Um, I think I was okay there for a moment. I started going wrong, h2, and then, yeah, knight f5 is immediately possible. So this is bad as well. Okay, queen g5 is necessary. Yeah, I think it's a series of blunders here. Um, oh, even here there's queen f6. Okay, I'm not miss. I'm um, There's a loose piece. Did I, I don't think I'm seeing anything in this game. Okay. Uh, not anything like, like that. Okay. So here white's just much better. Then I make things a great deal worse by inviting F4 rather the opponents. f is a real killer move. And this is uh, not pleasant to play anymore at all. I think bishop takes c7 was going to be great. Okay, this happens in blitz, I suppose, sometimes. Um, that's just the blunder. Weakness of the last move. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was just terrible. Sorry. <laughs> You're absolutely winning that. Absolutely winning that. Uh, just watch out for the weaknesses of the last move. If there was a tip I was to give for anyone watching, you know, when you're winning, watch out. Don't create too many... Don't create a fatal weakness of the last move from winning position. It causes regret, I think. <laughs> okay. Just play solid, you know, solid moves which don't create weaknesses. Um, it's, sometimes the temptation to win material, like taking that, I, I guess, creates that. But if you if you're material up already, you know, then uh, no need to be tempted. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Is B three? Uh, Implausible queen a5, king b2, queen a3 is nasty. 
So better not do that. In fact, there is a kind of weakness in the last move here, knight f5. Uh, my king's going to be attacked quite a lot here, it seems. Uh, maybe I'll need c4 soon, very soon, after queen a5, c4. Or queen d6, try and change uh, what's going on here, away from my king. Um, there's rook d7, which actually really is crushing rook d7 for my configuration. Mm. It seems. Knight d6 might be better. Mm. There's still the possibility of queen a5 and bishop b2 and queen a3 and that sort of horrible stuff. Um. Yeah, very, very, very unfortunate position. Uh, loads of time on the clock. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do here. This is a desperate defensive try. Um, queen d6 around here for queen c5 there's bishop b2 happening so forget that for a moment. I don't want to allow Bishop B two with Queen A three in particular. Uh, losing two minutes. At least that bishop's kind of mm, potentially stuck. Ah, uh, right. I'll try and connect now for Queen D six without. Huge punishment, I hope. Slightly different. The bishop b2 impact is slightly different here. All right, okay, okay. Nothing this changes things a bit. If I just take everything off here. Friendly rook d8. Although I miscalculated there, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm <laughs> uh, that, that wasn't exactly what I wanted actually to do. But the the bishops, okay, I'm happy the bishops on a2 here. Um, knight d6 might be a, a fun thing. So it looks as I'm sort of playing um, material up. There's bishop b1, isn't there? Oh, no. I thought there might be tactical bishop b1. Uh, do I take on a6 or f7? Okay, f7's with a check. Maybe this gives me some tactical ideas of check and check if the rook's left on the d-file. Right, 
right, so check and check there. Picks up the rook. I didn't deserve this either. I think I'm a bit lucky today. Um, it's pretty terminal. I think the position, if we look at it, it, it was a uh, pretty terminal for weight. Oh yeah. No, yeah, that was that was looking dreadful as well. <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely I'm not firing firing all cylinders here. This is um, this um, position. Um, uh, is full of uh, pitfalls for me. Black is much better. If, if here, there's, I think immediate termination with um, rook d7 because of d1. And um, I don't think knight d6 was any better because of queen a5. Personally, I thought queen a5 was strong <laughs> with the threat of bishop b2. So, so I do this. I think there's bishop b2 here with a force checkmate. Uh, that classic sort of um, mate pattern. So, um, yeah, I thought there was huge dangers here. Hence c4, but... Um, Okay, best to take. Uh, and it's just, it's, uh, Black's got everything. Uh, yeah, what they wanted. But here, okay, something went wrong with B3. Maybe that bishop's slightly bad, potentially. The queen's coming off, or, yeah, I think I'm back in, I could have taken on D6 there. Um, back in the driving seat here, but, there was a moment there. It just looks terrible. Yeah, of course. Okay. Friday. There's a way of getting a small edge, I think. Um, how does that go? Not knight f3, bishop e3. Comp off system or something. Or am I? I've already gone wrong here. It's possible. Um, because C4 is a pain sometimes. I'll try and play H4 and change. Get the opponent out of book or something. <laughs> Knight F3, and um, uh, I wonder if uh, there's a tempting G file pressure um, here. So Rook G1, F4, or Bishop D4 here. Okay, try and neutralize the Bishop. Okay, so F4. For Rook G1. So f is um, not possible, I think. Uh, is a take there. Um, Queen d2 looks interesting. I think Queen f4 is plausible here. Knight d3, Bishop d3. And then g7 saying bishop d4, bishop f5 is check. So queen f4 looks plausible. Uh, first sight. Yeah. King f1 might be a good safety precaution here to unpin a few things. Although, I've just learned bishop h3, haven't I? Let's try and extinguish bishop h3. 
as well. Maybe I should have just got rid of that bishop. Uh, is knight e4 though uh, a move here? Knight e4 looks dangerous for black in this particular position. Given I've unpinned usefully, that's something anyway. I think in principle to take this bishop off is is going to be dangerous in principle. Queen e three f four. Um, playing for f four. Well, do I get time for this business? Hmm. That's the thing. All right, I believe there's F takes here on on the queen. Um. Although there's a bishop h3, double check, that's annoying. King e1, still, mm, seems plausible still. Queen e5, bishop h3. I've got g1 covered sometimes. Okay, King D two here looks plausible. It doesn't seem as though there's millions of checks after King D two. Furthermore, it seems as though Bishop D three might be uh, handy. If I can blast that Bishop off the board with Rook F five, if the Rook dares to move Queen H eight, is checkmate. Uh huh. Can I just take this F five thing off? And Bishop D three. All right, this helps. Because now I've got Bishop D four coming up. Rook G seven Bishop D four. Yeah. That was pretty intense. I don't really know. Uh, there was a, a possibility of an earlier bishop h3 when I moved unpinning. I was tempted to unpin. But here, was there bishop h3? Okay, apparently it doesn't change the evaluation too much there. I, maybe I should have taken there on g7 straight off the bat. That's interesting to weaken the dark squares. All oh, right, c5. Okay, I was okay. Mm. 
<laughs> it doesn't like this at all. Uh, I I lose after that apparently. Uh, basically, uh, Queen H4, and that cuts some escape squares, and it does mean Bishop H3. Ah, and if Rook C3, Queen. All right, that's, that's a bit of technical stuff. Okay, so I apparently I should have played um, Bishop e5 instead. I've created a weakness of the last move, actually, technically, by not guarding h4 there. Yeah, I, as I say, a lot of these um, blitz games, the weakness of the last move is a major feature for opportunity to me. Um, that's my opinion over the last few years playing blitz as well, this weakness of the last move concept. I've done quite a few videos about that uh, term, weakness and last move, if you want to check out my King's Crusher channel. But yeah, I think a lot of blitz, fast time control, there's these just emergent opportunities which override <clears throat> grand plans. Uh, Maurice Ashley, the American Grandmaster, called it the secret of chess. So he inspired me with this path of thinking about weakness and last move. I did a load of videos myself on it. But yeah, um, especially in Blitz, the grand plan concept, I think, goes out of the window to uh, often just the emergent opportunities. Uh, so that is just a really emergent tactical opportunity when Queen's just left h4, go into h4. It's as simple as it sounds pretty simple. It's the logic, isn't it? It's the um, the give and take of a move, basically. You, you give to something, you take from something else. So it's sort of just, just looking at that in particular. The give and take of a particular move. I suppose you could call it being pedantic about the opponent's move without even checking your plans or their plans, just a level of pedanticness. Okay. Um can I go Queen H three? All right, am I getting into a little bit of trouble or is he creating weaknesses? Bishop e5, rook e2. Bishop e5, is that a tactical liability though? Hmm. So rook e2 here. If I double the rooks, okay, okay. There are potential uh, weaknesses if I just take here and just double for the moment. I slide back here onto dark squares. Take care. Try and hem in this bishop with d4, and I suppose it's got this other diagonal. I might be threatening knight d5 and stuff, queen e5. Okay, so here, um, maybe rook e5 threatening knight d5 again. H4 might be interesting. Well, there's pressure on G5 here, so H4 is also interesting. Try and fragment the opponent's pawns. I think that reduces king safety when the pawns are fragmented around the king. It doesn't have to fragment them, but okay, he has. So where to hang around here? Maybe Queen H3. Bring the other rook in. It's F3 or something. Or Rook G3. It's not a check at the moment. Queen H5 or Rook H5.
Um, yeah. Let's try this again for a minute. I'm just seeing 92 to F4 as an interesting tempo gainer idea. There's no check right now, is there? Knight F4 to H5 gives rise to F6. Knight F6 check. So I'm basically trying to swing this knight into the attack. So rook c2, knight f4, rook c1, king h2, but he's going to have to move his queen. And then knight h5 to f6. Well, maybe. Yes, it looks promising to win the exchange in any case. There's also rook g3 here, or we'll just win the exchange and then rook g3. Okay. C seven still Queen C seven. Alright, thanks for the game, yeah. That was yeah, the night swing was pretty dangerous, I think. Okay, Pascu, hi there. So this is um Colle Colle? System. I like the idea of using the pin here. I've seen this mechanism before of knight g4 spring on the pin. I'm hoping it works okay here. Sometimes highlights that this piece is an unprotected piece. So, for example, knight f3, knight takes, I'll be taking that bishop. Okay, so here, um, uh, queen h4 seems plausible, bishop g4 also seems, maybe, you know, f3 though. Um, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> knight f3, knight f3, it's simplifying, queen f3. I can take off that bishop. It leaves white with some dark square weaknesses, which may or may not be significant. In end games, king can crawl up on dark squares sometimes. So I'm only looking at a potential slight end game issue there. Um, yeah, a lot of pieces coming off. Uh, there might be a, another slight end game issue if bishop g4, queen g3 takes double pawns, then take there. Do those add up for anything significant? All right, well, here, um, knight g4, knight f3 is interesting. Knight d3 might be um, the way to play this. Might be for bishop g4. Not entirely convinced by anything here. Uh, this just leads to a lot of simplification. Yeah, I'm not I'm not convinced. White's game sort sort of uncoiled to at least afford this mass simplification, if I want it.
I've got a target here, C7, on this file. The other thing is this could be strength. This um, center could be uh, potentially troublesome. Um, I probably want to try and fix these pawns. So something like rookie eight, I encourage them to go forward. Um, protect that pawn. You know, yeah, maybe some dark square weaknesses again on e4. Maybe I take that. Just give up the bishop. Try and plan the dark squares. So, okay, rookie a bishop f3. You can imagine, might be some sort of trouble for white on the dark squares. Hmm. Okay, h6 here. Oh, there's knight e4. Okay, <laughs> better stop knight e4 actually. D5. Sounds like a first reaction kick the knight, but not good, not necessarily great. The first reaction. Um. The check seems useful for d3 here before e5 closes up that diagonal. Is it possible that I play h6 here, oh, knight f3, queen d3, knight e5? If I play queen d3 straight off the bat, there's no rook d1 just yet. Queen B two, King G eight. Okay, I'll I'll grab that pawn. Queen Queen B two. Well, there might be D four there actually. Um, I don't have to move my king back. F five seems dangerous as well. Um, This at least gives me f5 to play with. I'll go bishop f5, I think. Which threatens queen b1. I thought I thought f5 from white might be more dangerous there. Okay, uh, can I kick this guy now? And I don't know, queen d4. I'm getting kicked around. Okay. I just want this knight to go back. <laughs> this naughty knight. Go back. Go back, knight. Okay. Uh, do I take it off or do I leave it? Maybe activate the rook. Try and damage the pawn structure. I'll try and stop g4 actually g4 could be a right pain let's put an end to this g4 business an advance of um night moving just in case so hit h4 activate the rook more try and damage the pawn structure more So a target on a2, okay, a2, f4, if I play b5, that means, oh, f4 immediately, doesn't seem too controversial to take that. b5 seems an idea, this is a tempo gain, rook e4. B5 seems sensible. Queen D7 seems plausible. Oh, 
although rook takes would have been good there hitting the queen that was too casual of me rook c4 I think I'll take off here and take this check take the e file anyway okay thanks to the game yeah that was uh, I wasn't sure if uh, anything okay all this time okay I like this gambit <laughs> doing experimental research in this gambit for blitz chess I think what I get out of this opening, I get a kick out of the bishops. I don't know if it's sound or not, I just get a kick out of the attacking bishops. Hmm. Probably takes people out of well, I assume it takes people out of theory um, quite quickly. There is a line which loses in about 12 moves though that's the only slight downside of this opening <laughs> where I don't get to castle or anything uh, that's pretty unpleasant when that happens um, <laughs> but thankfully most people don't play that line that particular line which I end up losing yes very rapidly here in this opening this this isn't the critical crunch line um, uh, okay Um yeah <laughs> Okay So ninety four, getting some squares to play with now. Maybe Bishop C six coming up. But doesn't really want to play B takes, does he? Okay. Take it here. I could take that in Bishop H eight. Um Maybe Queen H3 here hits the two pawns. Uh, one would be with check. So Queen H3. Queen E5, Queen E3. If Knight E4, Bishop B7 check wins the Queen on E5. Right, this is check here. This pawn's momentarily 
dangerous. How dangerous? Um, queen d5, queen c4, queen. Ties down the queen for a moment, doesn't it? Okay. <clears throat> queen d3 to g3. I, I imagine queen, queen f4. Hmm. Knight f3, queen f3. Um, queen g3 coming up. Here before I get exterminated totally. Queen g3. Play bishop d3 and c3 if I can get the chance. Bishop d3 holds against rook f1 anyway, under certain circumstances. Um, maybe that's not crucial right now. Um, the key thing bishop d3, b4, then c3. Things. Um, okay, it's not a trap, is it, for Bishop D3? <clears throat> okay. Like B four here. Yeah. Mm, I'll try to be active uh, with Rook D seven. Uh, Bishop F three and Rook D seven. Just try and be active here with these minor pieces. So he's got a um, strong pass pawn now. Hmm. 
Mm-mm. Okay. Wrong place. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't get what I wanted from the opening, I think. It was a bit miserable after a key phrase passed. Uh, well played. Okay, uh, Teja. Okay, so Bishop A seven and H six. Okay, my castle. So King H seven and um Right. So knights have four coming up. I think knight f4. Knight g2. Friend. <clears throat> uh, d5. Is this, is this d5 going to be good? Or G five King G seven D five I could tease the C five check, I don't think it's that dangerous C five check. Okay, knight E four then. This gives rise to oh okay bishop a6 looks very tempting so bishop a6 and queen f6 Um, Bishop A6, Queen F6, can't really see anything beyond that uh, at the moment. Um, um, yeah. Uh, well, there's Bishop H3, actually. Come to think about it. Bishop H3 here. Okay, and then Queen F6, an improvement on things, perhaps. Um, there's a pin. Uh, there's F3 anyway, or D5. This game has got F3. Um, uh, Hmm. Turn this guy off. Threaten um, rookie two. And I'll take this guy. Okay, 
Fang's Teja. Friedel. And um, I'll play uh, English opening, I think. So D4. D5 here. It's tempting. H3 and F4 is looking like a good space game. Oh, E5 looks very, very tempting um, for D6. This is a very fast pace on this game so far. E6, I'm um, hoping, is, is plausible. Try and uh, gain more space. So D takes. Oh, hang on. Um, uh, there could be a snag here. <laughs> uh, oh, don't tell me. Okay, please don't tell me. Yeah, I I thought there was a snag with G takes uh, taking on F five. Maybe there is. <sighs> the way this is played now, I, I think I can take in the ninety four. Uh, ninety four seems plausible. Um Supports Bishop G five on the right time for Bishop G five. Oh, Queen G four now is dangerous. I still go in for this H four Queen H five business. Um, Okay, this unpins does threaten the the um, queen. This unpinning. Okay, quite violent, isn't it? This game. <laughs> queen h five, queen d two, uh, king h three. I mean, queen h five. While well, I've got the chance to evict, serve the eviction notice to the queen. King h three. So this g file. How dangerous is it? Rook g eight, e seven. My pawn is pretty dangerous by this point. Uh, I guess there's rook g3 happening. So maybe to safeguard things, uh, rook f3 here. And then still play e7 the next move. This knight's not interfering with events too much. Or is it? I don't know. Or I could just... Go for e7 now. Just allow rook g3, king g3, bishop e5. Seems a bit too dangerous. Uh, for example, king h3, queen h2. So I think rook f3 might be needed, unfortunately. Uh, rook f3 might be needed. Okay. Okay. So I I'm, I'm think I'm threatening e7. The queen's poised for e7 support. e7 looks dangerous.
I can uh, reinforce again or e7 and you just reinforce again with rook g1 maybe it's the safe thing to do put yourself beyond the feet before going on the uh, attack is the art of war principle I kind of like for chess it aligns well with a lot of Nimzovich and stuff about sometimes he's literally said the same thing in my system putting yourself beyond the feet before going on the attack he's literally I don't know if he's read the art of war okay so e7 Knight e3 is not yet threatening a mating thing with queen g2. So I would say e7 is is a concern here for black. Isn't that e7? I can't put myself beyond the feet any more than I have done in, in regards with uh, g3. I want to keep this active queen on h5. I think e7. Okay, so knight d6, I suppose. Knight d6 happens. Um, oh, I see. So f6 is um, is possible then. Okay. So I'm hitting e5. I'm threatening f7. Okay, there's queen f7. I think by this point I'm threatening queen g8 of bishop g3 anyway for e8 after. Queen h6, queen h5. Oh, okay, there's a trap there. Alright, king g2. Twenty six seconds. Have I walked into something horrible? I have, haven't I? <laughs> oh, I can't do it in time. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. I, there was a good trick at the end. I, yeah. This perpetual trick. Oh. <laughs> um, let's have a quick look. Hang on, this is knight h5. Knight h5. I'm missing the simple knight h5. Okay, that saves a lot of hassle. <laughs> it saves a lot of hassle, yeah. I, I think I'm just queening here. Okay, it's queening. 
Uh, Night H5. Okay, I, I, I was kind of welcomed. For some reason, I thought I'd welcome this. <laughs> Rook G3. Uh, that's a bit crazy to think like that, uh, to welcome Rook G3, especially if it's technically losing. Um, it's not clever. It's not funny. Okay, here I'm back in the game, but Queen G6 is probably a draw. Okay. All right, fun. <laughs> All right. Have, ha, I hope you enjoyed that as much as me. <laughs> so, like, okay. Thanks. Okay. See you next week then. Thanks so much.